This is the river Rioni. It runs from the Caucasus Mountains and empties into the Black Sea. A thousand years ago, Vikings sailed up this river on their way to the Caspian Sea. Now, modern-day Vikings have become embroiled in a growing conflict over the river and its surroundings. The Norwegians want to build two large dams in order to produce clean electricity. But locals fear that there will be an increased risk of landslides and that the local environment will change and hurt the important grape harvest. A unique wine district could be lost. Last year, people launched a campaign to try to prevent the dams from being built. The conflict over the Namakwani project is only the latest in a series of protests about hydropower in Georgia. Local communities are pitted against an international hydropower industry which sees Georgia's wild, untouched rivers as a lucrative investment. To understand what the conflicts are about, let's visit another part of Georgia. This is the Ajara region. It lies in the southwest on the Black Sea bordering Turkey. Incidentally, here, the same Norwegian investors have built a hydropower plant high up in the mountains. So this, in this village, it's one of the places where people have tried to, to stop one of the large hydropower plants. Now they're concerned that the dam, the reservoir where they uh, they uh, store the water will increase the risk of landslides and this that's a risk that's already is very high in this area there have been many large landslides uh, it's a mountainous area where uh, the uh, the mountains uh, are gradually sliding down year by year now uh, the largest landslide in uh, recent times occurred in 1989 and uh, 23 people died in that landslide and uh, it's not far from here it's, it's uh, uh, in that direction across on the other side of that mountain you see in the far distance there The main dam of the Shuachevi plant is 52 meters high. It was built just a few years ago. This was the largest construction project in the whole country at the time. Nearly a thousand Turkish workers were living in these barracks while they built the tunnels and the dams. Most of the facility is hidden inside the mountains. It is supposed to be a small footprint project, which means that the effect on the environment is reduced to an absolute minimum. But for people living on top of the mountains, it has been all but small impact. This woman says the freshwater springs that her family relied on 
has run dry after the explosions began a few years ago. Similar stories are heard in many other villages where drinking water is now being transported by truck because the water wells had dried up. Another problem is the risk of landslides. For thousands of years, people have learned how to survive in these steep hillsides as they watch the ground underneath them slowly subsiding year by year, waiting for the next big bomb. In this village, Urta, locals have campaigned against the project for years. They blame the company for the loss of fresh water and sued the government unsuccessfully. The worst landslide in recent times occurred in 1989. 23 people died. It is believed to have been triggered by a combination of heavy snowfall and explosions due to blasting work on a new road. This is why people became concerned when the company started blasting through the same mountain to build one of their tunnels leading to a smaller add-on dam.